about gains. Talk about setting yourself up for maximum muscle gains during bulk season. Right now it's July, we're about a third away into summer. We've been kicking it, we've been ripped, guys. You're probably working towards getting to that leanest part of the summer. Better yet, you might already be shredded, enjoying the warm weather, but soon enough it's gonna get cold, it's gonna get serious. It's time to get the hoodie on, get in the gym, and build some serious muscle mass. So as we transition into this phase, guys, if you're not some advanced, hardcore bodybuilder, you should be focusing at least six months of your year on muscle building and strength gains. So now we transition to this phase from a cutting phase into a bulking phase. How do we maximize muscle gains and minimize body fat? That's the question. So what I'm gonna show you today is how I strategically transition from a cut phase into a bulk phase. And the first step here, guys, is come in shredded, come in cut already. It's a no-brainer, but I see so many guys in the gym, so many aspiring bodybuilders who just kind of spin their wheels year after year with little mini cut and mini bulk cycles, never getting below 10% body fat, never getting peeled, never really dialing in with any goal. I see a lot of guys getting carried with their cheat meals, getting fat, getting sloppy. So what's the answer? Do you transition to some extreme crash diet for the next few weeks? Fuck that, don't, don't even think about slowing down your metabolism. Be intelligent, guys. Know how to transition for four weeks intelligently into a nice cut phase here. So for this extreme mini diet, what you wanna do now is be very calculated and be very intelligent and reduce overall calories by about 10 to 15%. So as you do this, guys, what you wanna do is increase your protein and decrease your carbohydrates by about 50%. So what it's gonna do is make your body work extra hard to break down these proteins as it's more anabolic. And then what's gonna happen as you're breaking down this protein, you're gonna keep your overall calories the same but your net calories are lower as your body's working harder to burn these calories off. So it's gonna get you nice and lean, nice and cut, and then it's gonna be time to transition and increase your workout volume. So as you increase your training and decrease your calories, obviously you're gonna get more shredded. So usually people are at about a 500 calorie deficit per week to get shredded, but as we're upping our volume on the training, guys, this doesn't have to be something crazy. As you're upping your training volume, this can be simply upping about 20% of your overall training volume. I don't mean 20% of your warm-up sets and your stretches and your light cardio. I mean 20% of your hard, grinding, working sets. So get in there, put in the work, don't overcomplicate it. If you're doing a bodybuilding split, just add some extra sets to each of those moves and add in one extra training day per week. Now, if you're on a hardcore powerlifting program right now or an upper body, lower body strength phase, what you wanna do is just start your cycle earlier. So keep the sessions closer together and start the next week's cycle a little bit sooner. So you're adding just that extra training session per week, guys. It's gonna be that extra burn that you need and you might be feeling a little run down. You might feel like this diet's kicking your ass. You might feel like the training's kicking your ass, but you're gonna get shredded, guys. And when you're doing this, guys, is the idea of overtraining, but it's so many people are just, I mean, this blown out of proportion. Most people don't are not overtraining. Just because you're tired, just because you're sore, that does not mean you're overtraining. It's about overreaching. Intelligent program design allows for overreaching. It's gonna allow you to push past your work capacity beyond how you can recover. So then when you pull back on your training volume, your body can exponentially grow and it's gonna just catapult you into this growth phase where you're then gonna back off your training volume, slowly increase your calories, guys, about 10 to 15% per week as you increase those calories, making slow quality lean muscle gains. So if you want more tips like this, guys, head over to justinwaltron.com and I'll see you there.